Okay, so we've all been there. Yes, we have. Ding. <laughs> And then the fasten seatbelt light goes on, and the pilot says, "Take your seats." And you know turbulence is coming. It's not fun. We've all been there. But how worried should we be when things get bumpy up there? <laughs> yeah, a new Fox Weather documentary called "The Truth Behind Turbulence," showing us how engineers build planes to withstand the worst weather and new technology designed to predict and navigate patches of turbulence. So it airs tonight. And to learn more, joining us now, the host of the special Fox Weather, uh, uh, Fox Weather's uh, Jason Frazier this morning. Jason, we were just chit-chatting. I mean, this couldn't have come at a better time. I admit, I am a medicated traveler. I have to, I do not like turbulence. So let's talk a little bit about what exactly this is. So you're not alone with this. I think either some people decide that they stay up too late, so they try to sleep through the turbulence. Some people are like me, where they like to take either a drink before or during the plane ride uh, to calm their nerves, or in some cases, yes, they do take Xanax. So here's what's going on. Uh, whenever you encounter turbulence, I'm gonna use this example plane here. Your plane likes calm air to fly through it. And essentially what's going on with turbulence is you're getting either a vertical wind gust, right? that's pushing either the plane up or down. Sometimes this uh, happens when you're flying through storms or you'll get a wind that is gonna hit the plane horizontally. So it's moving the plane back and forth. All your plane is trying to do during turbulence is find that equilibrium so that it can maintain that smooth ride. So essentially you can say turbulence is a good thing even though it's scary. What's, what's the danger of turbulence bringing a jet down? So it's important to note here, turbulence has never crashed a plane before. And I know when you're flying at 20, 30, or even 40,000 feet up in the air, you think, okay, is it gonna crash? No, it's not going to crash. Now, sometimes you may encounter what we call convective turbulence, and that's where you encounter some thunderstorms, and sometimes your plane will be you know, flying and the plane will be pushed up or down. But all planes are equipped with radar. So what's going to happen is, even though you may experience that up and downness, so to speak, uh, don't worry. The plane is, is not going to crash. And the FAA has instituted a number of rules that say that if a thunderstorm is going to be approaching an airport while you're in the process of landing, sometimes you will abort that landing just because it's just not safe enough. Okay, so when turbulence happens on a flight, I'm that guy that's looking at the flight attendant because I, I want to make mm -hmm. sure that they're cool with this and then I feel a little bit better. Um, it, is that normal? I mean, to, to feel weird and, and look for reassurance in those situations? It is, it is totally normal, and that's why in the documentary we talk with a psychologist because I wanted to know much more about what happens to your brain. Why do we fear turbulence so much? And part of the reason why we fear turbulence is because we aren't in control. So what do you naturally do? You look to the person or people who are in control, whether it's the flight attendant or it's the pilot. And so he gives me a couple of tips on how to remain calm during that turbulent flight. You're gonna have to watch the documentary coming up later tonight on Fox Weather at 10 o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock your time. Oh, we're definitely gonna check that out. I mean, you spoke with a major airline as well about how to navigate some of that turbulence and maybe even predict the turbulence, I mean, we can predict yes. it. That's, that sounds like a helpful feature. So the majority of turbulence we can predict. So most pilots for United as well as Delta, they have an app on their iPad in the cockpit. So if you're encountering what we call either mountain wave turbulence or convective turbulence, usually the iPad program will say, hey, there's turbulence up ahead. Let's try to either divert around it or maybe let's try to go further up or maybe let's try to descend a little bit. Now, Delta says they do everything in their power to avoid it, but sometimes it's just unavoidable. Now, here's an interesting factoid. Most turbulence only lasts about two to about three minutes. So keep that in mind as you're trying to fly mm. through a storm. Jason Frazier, great to have you this morning. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And please make sure all of your viewers get out to uh, download the Fox Weather app. You can download it in either the Apple or the Google Play Store. And all you need to do later on tonight is just hit that Watch Live tab. Yeah, and you can uh, watch the special on that uh, app on any connected device. And it's cheaper than Xanax and it's cheaper than booze. There you go. Does that make you feel better? It honestly, yeah, it, it but does. You know what? The booze are still a little bit more fun, guys. I'm sorry. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But Jason, the next time we fly together, it's going to be much more fun. You are more than welcome. Let's go to Hawaii. Let's oh, do it. I mean, you're speaking my language. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. I think you just scored a date. All right.
Okay, let's uh, check in now with Brian and uh, a look outside.